First and foremost, I want to give all honor, praise, and glory to our Heavenly Father, Yahweh, also true about the King of Kings, royalty himself, Yahweh Shah, Amashiach, also the final father, truth, right the one west. This is Father Kings going back at you yet with another lesson. <clears throat> Before I go in this lesson, lesson to the 12 tribes of Israel, which consists of the so called blacks, the so called Native American Indians, and the so called Latino and West Indian descent. You represent the 12 tribes of Israel. Also, our brothers and sisters that scattered abroad the various islands um, and across various, various nations that even look like the other nations. Um, peace and blessings be unto you, and shalom be unto you. I'm going to call this lesson um, the, ro the True Role of a Woman. <clears throat> uh, I'm going to read this article here. It says, you can, uh, you can break down a woman temporarily but a real woman will always pick up the pieces and rebuild herself and come back even stronger than ever. Um, when you, um, I somewhat agree with this from a spiritual standpoint. Uh, cause let's get the book of Proverbs real quick. Um, just to, just to further explain what I mean on why I agree with this to a certain extent. And before, before I get the verse, I want to make mention that a woman role is a very, very precious role. And it's been lost in society. You know, um, a woman role is really ordained to help the man. You know, when, when you read the book of Genesis, he said he would make a helpmate unto him, a help like unto himself. You know, that's, sorry, that's in the book of Ecclesiastes in the Apocrypha. But it also says, um, it's not good that man be alone. I will make him a helpmate. And I'm going to get that in a second. But let me get this verse real quick. This is the book of Proverbs, chapter 14, verse 1. It says, the wise woman build her house up, but the foolish woman tears it down with her own hands. Uh, let me get the King James Version just to confirm it. Uh, Salakia, it says, every wise woman builds her house up, but the foolish woman pluck it down with her own hands. And what this scripture um, what this scripture means to me, what really and not only means to me, what it actually means is it's talking about a wise woman, a woman that um because you know the scriptures is no private interpret no private interpretation of the scriptures. So what I get out of this, which we all should get out of this, is that a wise woman will build her house up. That's a woman of integrity. Um, in this society, that integrity that's, that what makes a woman is lost in this society. Uh, with um, highs lost by the way of feminism, the feminist movement, the Diana spirit. That goes back to ancient Rome when you read this history. Um, and, and also Babylonian because this place, by the woman being on top of the man in this society, it brings forth great, great, great confusion. That's why the world is upside down. So let's get the definition of, of what a woman really supposed to be. But let me read this verse one more time. It says, every wise, every wise woman will build a house up. That means her nation, primarily her husband. Because by the woman being an anchor to her husband, she's helping the nation of Israel. Every wise woman built her house. Um, so like every, every wise woman built her house, but the foolish pluck it down with their own hands. You know? So, yeah. Let's get. I'm, I, I want to get Genesis, but I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and start with Ecclesiastes. Um, he that giveth a wife get a um, beginneth a possession, a help like unto himself. Not no, not no call girl, not no westernized woman, not no woman, not no Jezebel spirit, not no feminist spirit, not no idol worship in spirit because that feminist movement go back to idolatry which is idol worship back to the diana spirit which springs from the roman catholic church it says he that giveth a wife beginning a possession a help like unto himself in a pillow of rest you know and that's why a lot of brothers leaving this country is because brothers are getting fed up with being treated like less than men I mean, it's already hard enough that we're the Israelite man in this wicked, oppressed society. And how much more is harder when your own woman, you can't get rest from your own woman, you know? Um, you know, it's crazy. It's very sad, you know? And it's crazy because, you know, our women is like the hardest on us, which is so sad, you know? Esau plays a factor in that, but also our women 
plays a factor in that. That's why we read, we just read in the book of Proverbs, the 14th chapter, verse 1, it says, A wise woman um, build a house up, and a foolish woman pluck it down with her own hands, you know? All right, let's get another priest up here. This is the book of Genesis chapter 2, verse 18. It reads, And the Lord, Yahweh said, It is not good that man should be alone, and I will make him an help meet for himself. Like we just read in Ecclesiastes, a help like unto himself in the pillow of rest. The role of a woman is really designed to help you. She's supposed to help your vision, help your goals, help your dreams. Um, it's not talking about a man just like straight freeloading off a woman. It's not talking about that. It's saying that she's supposed to balance that man out. You know, like, um, you know, if you're having a hard time, if you lose your job, you should be able to go, go to your wife and be, for that support until you get back on your feet to provide for your family. You know, if you're going through your storm in life, you should be able to go to that pillar. That's why the scripture said that um, she's a pillar of rest. A pillar is like another form of support system, you know. But, um, you know, um, I want to close it out here. I um, hope this lesson will be very edifying. To next as I say, Shabbat Shalom. Before I close out, I must give all honor, praise, and glory to our Heavenly Father, Yahweh. Also, truly, like the King of Kings, Royal to Himself, Yahweh Shah, Amashiach. Also, the Father, Father, True Father, One West. Shalom, Israel. Peace and blessings. Shalom. Shalom. Peace and blessings.